Professor, a moment of your time. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Professor Black. How are you? <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accept... Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a head? Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Master, and he's coming this way. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness! You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. 
wait until Master sees what a... Ahem! Attention! Screw! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. But certainly I remember. It's still stronger together, no? <laughs> Master has made Scrope laugh. <laughs> Of course I remember. It's the Black Family Reigns. Is Master giving Scrope a test? It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh... I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. On another adventure, are we?
gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Mumos. Alohomora. Lumos. Ravenia. Who's your pure? Rebellion. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fick's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Must be the pedestal. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Lee. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. 
Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. when I could. straight ahead. They won't be able to find me if I go up there. this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the only. Oh, closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. my chance. I'm in this. 
invisible. see me at all, I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power.
stone. This must be for me. Same without her. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow, as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. <laughs> Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young. I know. You must be Professor Bakar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. 
I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power, and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was, and she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in Goblin Silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragbor. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. <laughs> Everything's all right now.
Settle yourself, I mean you no harm. I'll look after you. Professor Howen will never believe this. has some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well. Which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? And Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. <laughs> Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included.
This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. No need to race now, my friend. Everything's all right now.
You should know better than that by now. We've all told you before. What happens when you don't listen? See, I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. Ah. Ah. What's going on out there? Renrock's vision of goblins ruling over wizards will be fulfilled. <laughs> On another adventure, are we? Trouble's brewing, and I'm without my friends. Nothing to mug in Aaron Jury except spiders. I'm worth a couple of jobs. Good bringo! Nice to see you, my young friend. Blockade. Brookwood's poachers are already here. Hold 
you're a deadly great spider. You've seen how much a single feather <laughs> Just imagine the whole living bird. Now take it! What would you do? Thought we'd forget about that common hell we are over. Seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. too many. Sleep a bit easier now. Confringer. 
Revelio. somewhere safe. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. Intriguing. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... What a beauty.
You keep it close. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. Professor Howen will never believe this.
Everything's all right now. yourself I mean you no harm ah. things you should be proud of all the potions Look after you. <laughs> Professor Howen will never believe this.
Deep cannot believe how many beasts you have here. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Cozy than Hogsmeade. Come in! Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. You're back! Nice to see you again. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details? <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However... If you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Ah, I used to help. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included.
off on another adventure, are we? Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. May I have a moment of your time? What do we have here? A demi -girl. Mine now, demi guys. Revelio. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Revenia. Hogsmeade, here I come. I beg your pardon, but... Is everything all right? Oh, bless you! Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty Bugbrook. And no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. Years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember? You'll know her by her brilliant coat. Oh, and be warned, she's a stubborn girl. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. Sounds as if she's in trouble.
Hazel must be here somewhere. Come on, Hazel. Nice to see you, my young friend. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I can take Hazel back to a vivarium now. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine, and I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You have a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. <gasps> Do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Take good care of Hazel now. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I...
Professor Howen will never believe this. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be... I should investigate. My mother used to always say, a clear head makes way for a clear path. I don't know what your path is, since your heads never seem to see a tie. Oh, get over here, you insolent child! Levioso! Fringo! Oh! It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts, Revelio. yourself I mean you no harm
What's in the hat, if you please? Mind now, Demi guys. Aloha Ravenia. What you did! Ah, I have no tolerance for thieves! Hand them back! Hand what back, sir? Well, we've not took a thing. Hand them back! There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Aloha, Mora. A little more. Here, a demigod. Mine now, demigods. I've heard. Hello there. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Alohomora.
Alohomora. Mind now, Demi guys. I invented flu powder. Wonder who lives here. Mine now, Demi guys. Incendio! If I could undo all that happened that day, I would! Get away from me! What do you want? Revenia! Very good. Now, Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys. Lumos.
What are you up to now? Lumos. Alohomora. Lumos. Mind now, don't you guys? Revelia. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Lumos. I'm most pleased to be included. Revenia. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguise statues? I actually have some moons for you. Dear me, you have been busy. Incredible, thank you. You're ready for the final Alahamora lesson. With this knowledge, no lock shall ever stand in your way. You have done all I asked. I only wish I knew who put those statues everywhere in the first place. <sighs> Alas. If you do find more, please feel free to remove them. You'll be doing your caretaker a huge service. And if I ever find out who the bully is behind this cruel trick, I shall let you know. Thank you once again for your assistance and tenacity. Now that you've mastered Alahamora, no lock is unbreakable. Uh, but do feel free to keep finding Demigai's statues and removing those moons. Two pinches of Angelica, all three. Alohomora. Mind now, don't you guys? Rebellion.
now, Demi guys. Hello, Hamora. I've always said the travel rebellion. Aloha Mora. Off on another adventure, are we? Lumos. Ha! Aloha, Mora. Mind now, dummy guys.
Lumos. Revelio. Oh, hello. Lumos. Hello, Hamora. Lumos. Revelio. Alohomora. Mind now, dummy guys. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most Rebellion. pleased to be included. Alohomora. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio.
Revelio.